Okay guys, welcome to episode three of the review show. So today I'm down in Tall Bay and I'm gonna cover two things. I'm gonna cover the Dawa 7HT Supermag and also the Century Cool Bag. So lovely morning, as you can see, totally flat seas in front of me. And uh, we'll try to get down here before the public generally get down first thing. It's now about seven o'clock and uh, hopefully we can get this production done before everybody starts getting busy throughout the days, walking the dogs and stuff. So uh, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Okay, so the reel itself weighs in at 346 grams. It's one of the couple of the features is anti-reverse and aluminium spool. It's the uh, max drag of 11 kilograms, which isn't fantastic. But to be honest, for the reel, what it is to suit the type of fishing it does is more than sufficient. Um, and it has a drag style drag and the line capacity of 300 meters of 15 pound main line. It also has a gear ratio of 581, which is more than sufficient for the type of reel it is. Okay, so here we have the reel itself. So I've just gone through the general details of the reel itself for you. And um, to be honest, I've had a lot of the 7HT reels over the years. And um, the only thing I've never been a complete fan on, a lot of people like it, is the small handles. Now I've got these Gomez new handles, which are, to be honest, they match these perfectly because they, they're the same color of the, as the reel. What you get with that, especially when I'm fishing in places like Chesil, you place fishing, but nine times out of 10, you've got a chance of catching underlet, you've got a chance of catching um, congers, you've got a chance of catching formbacks, you've got a chance of catching some big fish. And what I find the little handles just makes it a lot of, a lot of hard work where these power handles here, what I've got on there now, it totally transforms a reel. I mean, one of the smoothest reels I think you'll cast, I think Dawa is known for its, um, it's uh, quality and uh, it goes to show, especially in sea fishing reels. Um, they've been going for many, many years. And uh, to be honest, I've had a lot of Dawa reels over, over the space of the years. I've had the Sotigas, I've had the Sotis, I've had the um, Sloshes, I've had, the, I've had a lot of reels. And uh, um, I'm a big fan of these for placing and stuff. They're not, made, they're not built to be targeting congers and rough ground and stuff like that. The mechanisms and the stuff in, like that inside just don't, won't handle it. They're meant for place fishing, clean beaches, and, um, and, and that's what they're built for, really. Totally smooth, ultimate distant casting. Um, I mean, they, they're one of the smoothest running reels you can get. And um, yeah, you've got the mag on there. I have had these fitted with the pinion supports just to help protect the pinions, obviously. You, can, you never know what you're going to catch. I've had 16 pound deals on these before on Chesil and with the small handles. And I thought it was quite hard work where I think now with the power handle, you've got to use the rod to do the lifting. Uh, you can't just crack it down on the, on the reel, but um, it totally transforms the reel. So I'm going to have a few casts of this now and we'll go for it. Okay guys, so I've got this matched up today with a Zocron XGT 14. Um, perfect setup really for, for, for this reel. Uh, chisel, beaches, any clean sort of ground, play, especially place, place fishing, it's got the back a backbone in this rod to cope with it all. I've done a review on last, uh, uh, last week on it, and um, it's just a phenomenal bit of kit, which I'm matching up perfectly with this rod, uh, with this reel, sorry. So um, I'm gonna go into the cast quickly before anybody turns up, and then we can go on. I do, with these reels, I had a question asked the other day, I take my drag down, it's a simple fact, if, if it clicks in, in cast, in cast it's all like kills the reel and I don't want that happening. So I do it specifically. I won't do it if I'm necessarily fishing all the time with it, but especially when I'm like basically doing this sort of thing, just casting and trying to give it all I can. Um, I just don't want nothing to obviously interfere with the reel. That's the reason I do it. A lot of people get bands and they put bands around it. They do that even when they're fishing. But uh, yeah, here we go. As you can see that still going. It just very, very, very smooth. Um, very smooth. It's um, that there at the moment is halfway off. So I can play with that a bit more if I wanted to. Um, at the end of the day, for the sake of this video, and um, I'm not gonna. Um, 
it it all depends with if you've got what conditions you're fishing to where you set the mag for me i mean if you've got a big headwind like in your face headwind necessarily you wouldn't have the, the mag set totally off you would probably um set the mags more accordingly but days like this where you've got no wind and uh, you can get away with it a little bit more why not but a uh, very very small uh, smooth reel and uh as i said it's it, it's just effortless it, it flies i think one of the main things with any type of fishing reel really is you need to make sure the reel's running smoothly and um you look after these these reels they'll, they'll last you um as, as i said it's it's not a reel what's built for rough ground I know guys what used to use these on the reefs and stuff um, and um, blonde ray and, and stuff like that uh, specifically because they know they'll get extra distance with it and up the channel it can it can it can obviously sometimes getting into that tide line can make a difference between catching a fish or not so uh, you can see why you use them especially with these handles uh, it's one of them really you'll probably go through a lot of reels doing that each year but if you're using this type of reels for placing and stuff like that i mean a lot of the mechanisms inside this reel is plastic so um it's, as i said guys it's not built for that but we'll just get this lead out a minute so what i'm going to do just for the, the test here now i'm going to um release the mags slightly and then what i'll do is i'll do a cast with the with the um with the mags on but uh we'll do one off just so you can see the sort of speed of the reel starting to rain so uh it's not what i wanted really but it is what it is you just got to make do with these sort of things isn't you okay starting to rain um See if I can get one of these out a minute. Lovely. So smooth, it really is so smooth. I mean, I've got that matched up there with a six ounce lead, 175. And um, as you can see, the, the power handles just, just do, totally transform the reel. They really do. But um, I find the little reels are just, I don't know, they're quite like small and that. Some people will, will like them. But personally, I feel that these handles, putting these onto the reels, have completely transformed the reel for me. And I would probably look at the type of fishing I'm doing with it, if I'm, I'm fair. I mean, if I'm up on Chesil and I get an underlet on, I don't want to be struggling. And you know what I mean? It's just um, power handle on. I can use the rod. I ain't got to obviously put all the pressure in that on the reel. I can thumb the, thumb the spool if I want to in reel. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's one of them. But as I said before, I was up on Chesil and I had a 16 pound deal and it was just real hard work with a small handle. So, uh, yeah. But we've got a few people turning up now, walking dogs and stuff. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go onto the cool bag to it sort of calms down a little bit then just run through, through a couple more casts with the reel but um I've, I've had them a little while and i've had a couple of them over the years and uh it's a reel i keep going back to and i would keep going back to it specifically for the simple fact that it's um it's uh, it's unreal i mean they're a lot of money but at the same time you get uh you get the you get the quality you pay for and, and unfortunately that's what you get with fishing sometimes you need to have that um that quality and, and it will last you it looked after it correctly it will last you a lifetime and you can upgrade parts and stuff like that but um we'll go over the cool bag and then we'll look back at uh maybe doing something that, and a few more casts on this in a minute you are folks so this is the latest cool bag from the century range so i've picked this up for to be honest a lot of the places i go like chesil or the channel or stuff like that where i'm using mixed fish baits and and maybe crab and stuff like that, which I can put in and I can just, it's, it's, it's lightweight. I can put it over my shoulder. It's got a, a shoulder strap. I won't specifically take this down to like rain marks and stuff like that, just because the size of it and going up and down cliff face and stuff like that. Having said that, I could take them to some of the marks, which are, which are easy, but half the time I need to make sure I've got everything in my rucksack. 
So I would use like a flask, and if I'm using fish baits and that, I normally tend to take a, like, like a little bit smaller version of this, just like a pack sort of size, where I can put it in and just put an ice pack in and it'll keep it fresh, or an extra flask. But um, very impressed with this. Um, I've heard some fantastic reviews, that's why I've purchased one. Um, guys have had them a little while on that and said that they've gone and done like a weekend session at Chesil and stuff like that, put bait pack, uh, ice packs in there, and um, it's, it's been... Uh, it's been kept fresh and looked after for the whole weekend and the whole of the session. So we'll jump in and have a quick look at this one. So the first one you see, it's got a shoulder strap, so you can, uh, if you walk along chisel or you've got a rucksack and stuff, you can attach it to it, which is quite good. Um, it's got a front zip with zips both sides, so it zips right through um, and it can be undone like so. You've got a top holding compartment, which you could store bait packs or your knives and um, scissors and stuff like that. And then inside here, it's got a, a plastic container. Uh, which you can pull out and wash, which is good because you can basically put, put everything in store inside that and it saves only giving, getting a mess inside. I think a lot of the bait and cool boxes what have been out in previous times could have done with something like that put into them because uh, it's a nice touch and it keeps the bag fresh and well looked after. So we've got that, that there, Sophie. So inside the bag itself, as you can see, it's, uh, it's been pretty well made. Uh, all the zips and all the um, all the fastenings and stuff like that look really good and well done. Um, and yeah, to be honest, it's a simple case of washing that out if it gets a bit of bait in there and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. But the joy of having that plastic inside is going to keep it fresh at the same time. So it's basically the top goes back over and uh, the zips go all the way around. So you can have a front zip if you, if you like. And uh, yeah, it's all enclosed. It's got two handles which can go on the top with a secured tag right like that which you can basically put through and you can hold it up like that as well. To be honest, what I'd probably do if I'm going anywhere or I was going to use my rucksack, I'd get a carabiner and I'd clip that straight onto the bag. So on the front compartments then, you've got a front zip, which um, you can store bit different bits and pieces if you, if you wanted to. You've also got side compartments, which you can put bits and pieces in. There's one on the side there, there, there then. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it really. I mean, it's got a, the back, obviously the bottom is... Um, is uh, all wipeable material, which is uh, there. But I've heard some really good things about these uh, these cool bags from guys on the internet and stuff, and it made me go out and purchase one direct. So it's um, it's one of them really, which uh, at the end of the day, it's always nice to see different uh, products were available in the market and things that work. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out fishing and, and using this this year. Okay, folks, so uh, I'm gonna do a couple more casts with this one and uh, you can uh, see what I mean. It's very, very smooth, and while we've got no people here, it's nice to have a few casts, so I'll get one out again now. Absolutely flying. Really is. It's, it's effortless, and I mean effortless. It's just very, very smooth. I'll try and get this line right up. As I said, it just the power handle just makes things very easy. And at the end of the day, it's, um, it's something which I think all anglers want. You know what I mean? You want the choice at the end of the day. So uh, it would be nice to see these reels come with a power handle or have the option of having a power handle. I mean, it's, it just totally transforms a reel. The little ones are really tiny. Um, and uh, I'll see if I've got, a, got one. I'm not sure if I put it in the bag or not, but if I have, I'll show you the size of them. But uh, as I said, guys, they're a very expensive reel, but you get what you pay for with it. And if they're looked after, they really are uh, an incredible reel to use around uh, areas of the UK fishing for place and um, whiting and cod and stuff like that. As I said, they're not for grunting power and like hauling big eels from the depths on rough ground and stuff like that. At the end of the day, they're there to uh, do a job. The same as reels. I mean, if you want a if you want a rough ground reel to uh, rod to go and fish for conger, you wouldn't go for a match rod, would you? Um, you'd go for a more rougher ground version. And it's exactly the same. It's it's, it's clean beaches, and it's um, it's just an all time favourite of mine, really. But uh, we'll give it another cast, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll leave you to it, guys. But I hope everybody's had a good week, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in episode four.
everything's just very, very smooth with this. And it really is, as I said, with the power handle, effortless. Quick wash off with fresh water when you get back from your sessions or from the sea, just to stop corrosion and stuff like that on the reel. And uh, you will look after something very, very special. I mean, they've stood the test of time. You had the original 7HTs, you had the um, turbo version, you had the um, mag, um, the blue versions, and then you've got the uh, super tuned, which has been out a fair few years now, and uh, by far the most superior of the of the range, and um, an absolute joy to fish with. Very much looking forward to getting out with this combo over the next couple of weeks, targeting place from the rocks and beaches. So, yeah, guys, that is the 7HT Super Mag Millionaire. But just before I go, I'd just like to say for all of those that uh, like watching the uh, reviews and stuff like that at the end of the day, guys, just try to give an honest review. It's stuff that I've purchased myself and I find works over the years. Uh, I've, I've spoke to a few friends of mine. We've got different products and that one I'm going to try and include. And so I'm going to speak to a few brands because there is certain things which I've had messages coming through saying, Andy, can you cover? I think these work really well and stuff. It's a bit like the Accios uh, Nitrons. We were given a prototype many years ago and at the time we, we weren't able to do a fair review on it. Which, um, which we weren't aware of at the time when we'd done the video. But to be fair, since then, I've had the casting specials. And what I find is with the casting specials, they haven't stood the test of time. The originals are way much better when you put your own mag conversion in there. I've actually been lucky enough to get a pair, a pair brand new of the old ones um, from Hooks and Torquay. Uh, I'm, I'm still on the lookout now for a, for a pair because I've got two pairs of them now and they are literally bomb proof. You've got to get the conversions from on there. And it was, it's sad to see Penn go from what the originals were and what they had to do. They had to simply put a monomag on the side and it, it transformed the reel. But they've put the next series in place now when you've got the clickers. Maybe I'll do something on that if I can get a, a hold of a pair of that. I've cast them and I just didn't like the look of them. I've heard reviews and stuff um, regarding them, how they don't compare to the originals. So um, it's something what I haven't bothered going back to. But I am going to do in the next episode something on the original. Uh, pen fathom 12s and 15s so uh hopefully look forward to seeing you on the next video but as i said if you like your videos don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in another adventure tight lines <laughs>